Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building another Metrolink at 59PH locomotive. This time in the early 90s paint scheme here, so it's slightly different than the one we did last week. And this is what it looks like, so let's get right into the build here. So since we've recently completed a Metrolink train here last week, I'm just going to plop it right on the front of this one. So we're going to be starting on the back end of this locomotive. So we'll take out a dark oak stair for the rear coupler and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak vent scape. Then on the next block forward, on the bottom, we're gonna put five black stone brick stairs facing this way, coming across the tracks. Then on the next layer, a black stone brick block in the center and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then we'll come in front of this in the middle and do a three block tall T-shape, a black stone brick block. Then come down here, put a torch on either side of this second layer. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs on this outer edge and three on this side. In front of this, we'll do a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we'll swing up here on this top middle back here and we're gonna put three oak slabs in the center. Then we're gonna come down here and open a birch fence gate above each rail. Then above each of those, we're gonna open a dark oak fence gate. Then we'll put one sideways fence gate on this top middle. Then come up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a sideways end rod here. And then one over on this side here. Then come in front of this on bottom, and we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate on each rail. In front of that, we'll do another right wheel on each rail. And in the middle, a black stone brick block, then a black stone brick stair upside down. Then two sideways fence gates in the center, then we'll skip a block, put a block here, and an upside down stair here. Then we'll add another right wheel on the rail here and here, and put a fence gate on the front of each of these wheels. In the gaps between the wheels here, we're gonna put four sideways lightning rods above each rail. Then we'll go through and we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. Then we'll crouch and we'll put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing on this side, put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper over here. Then we're gonna take out string, and we're gonna come on bottom in front of this and skip one block forward from these fence gates. And we need to put a string in the middle and on each side between these railroad ties. And then that is going to allow us to crouch and place a row of five sideways anvils like this for an air tank. So there's one block of space between here. Then come in front of it, and we're gonna put a second row of sideways anvils right in front of it. Then we're gonna skip one block forward in front of the anvils with black stone brick block. And we're gonna go three wide on this bottom middle and extend it forward so it's nine blocks long. Then we're gonna put nine upside down black stone brick stairs on this side of it and nine upside down stairs on this side. Then we'll come on the second layer, and we're gonna cover the whole top of the spiel tank in a five by nine, a black stone brick block up here, and bring it to the front. Then we'll come behind this on the second layer, on the center, start right here, and do a line of black stone brick block down the middle to the back end here. Then on the side of this, we're gonna do a full row of sideways dark oak fence gates across here. Then come on this side and do a full row of fence gates across here. And actually come up here on the front of the fuel tank and change this to an upside down oak stair. And that same block on this side to an upside down oak stair. Then come in front of this on the bottom and we'll do the front truck. So we're gonna put a fence gate on each rail. Then in the center, in front of that, a black stone brick block and an upside down stair. Then two sideways fence gates. Then skip a block out and get a block here and an upside down stair right here. Then take out another right for the wheels, one here, one here. And 
Same thing on this side, like that. Then a fence gate on each of these front wheels. And in the gaps between the wheels here, we're gonna put four sideways lightning rods above each rail. Then just like before, we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Same thing on this side. Then we'll go back to Blackstone Brick Block and do a line down this top middle till it's aligned with these front fence gates. On the side of this, a full row of dark oak fence gates up here. Then come over here and a full row of dark oak fence gates on this side here. Then come in front of this and we're gonna do a five by three of Blackstone Brick Block coming out to each side of the tracks here. In front of this, we'll do a three block tall T-shape in the center and put a torch on either side of this second layer. Then we'll put three oak slabs coming up this side, three on this side. Then in front of this on bottom, three black stone brick stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs on this top middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block, and put a sideways dark oak fence gate under it. Then we're going to open a birch fence gate on each rail, and above each of those open a dark oak fence gate. Then one dark oak fence gate up here in the middle, then come up here and crouch and put a sideways end rod here, and on this side here. Now come on the side of this field tank and put a skeleton skull here one on this side. Behind it on each side do a mangrove button. Then on the back we're going to put a mangrove button here and here. Then behind this wheel tank on this third layer we're going to take out another brick fence and put three here and three here. Then we'll stand up here and crouch and we're going to put a single polished deep slate slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then move a hitbox down, one here and here, one here and one here. Then we'll repeat that for the front truck, so come up here and crouch and put a single slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then move a hitbox down, one here, one here, then one here, and one here. Then on this middle gap, we're gonna put two polished deep slate blocks here. And same thing for this back truck, two blocks here. Then get this side, two blocks here, and one more corner to go, two blocks here. Then we're gonna put two sideways fence gates on the middle and four dark oak trap doors on the top. Same thing here, so four trap doors here, two fence gates here. Repeat it on this side, two fence gates here, four trap doors here. And one more corner to go, four trap doors here, two fence gates here. Then we're gonna go through and put a skeleton skull above all four of these wheels. Same thing at the back, put a skeleton skull above all four of these back wheels. Then we'll come on top and crouch again, and we're gonna put a sideways end rod here and here, and then one here and one here. And of course, we'll repeat that for the front truck, so crouch, put a sideways end rod here and here, one here and here. Then we'll come on this third layer, and we're gonna start at one end, and we're gonna go three wide in the middle, with our polished black stone brick block. And we're gonna bring that all the way down across the top, three wide in the middle, to the other end of the locomotive here. Then on this top outside edge, on the upper hip box, we're gonna go end to end up here with oak slabs. And then same thing on this side, on this upper hip box, we're gonna go end to end with oak slabs all the way across. And now the base of the locomotive is done and we can come up to the front here. So we're gonna come on top of the front on the third block in and put a purple concrete on each side in the center and a smooth quartz in between. Then do another layer with the reverse checkerboard pattern and then the top middle three with the reverse checkerboard pattern like that. Then on each side behind it, a column of two purple concrete and three across this top middle. Then two crimson stairs facing outward on either side of the top and two rows of three purple carpet up here. 
Then we're gonna come in front of this on the middle three and follow our checkerboard pattern with white and purple stained glass and do a three by three right here, like this. Now take a purple banner, one on this corner here and one on this corner here. Then on the bottom of each side behind this, on the outer edges, we're gonna do a line of three purple concrete coming back on each side. Behind that, three purple shulker boxes on each side. Then two purple concrete. And then we're gonna put a birch door here and right here. Then on each side, we'll do a full line of purple concrete across here on the next layer and a full line over here. Then we're gonna come up front and do a single purple concrete behind the crimson stairs on each side, then a single smooth quartz. Then behind that, we'll do four purple concrete coming back on each side. And then behind that, we'll switch over to smooth quartz blocks, and we'll do three smooth quartz coming out over the door on each. Then come up here with black stained glass block, put one here, then a white stained glass, then black, then white, then black. Then behind that on each side, we're gonna do three black stained glass panes. And then we're gonna do a single purple concrete. Then behind that, a single smooth quartz block on each side. Then we're gonna come up and put a white stained glass pane on the side here and here. And on this top middle above the windshield, three purple concrete, and then three purple stained glass panes on the front of it. Then we're gonna come back here in this top corner and put three deep slate tile walls here and three here. Then we're gonna come on this bottom outside edge behind this door with purple concrete. And we're gonna bring it all the way down the side till it's over this last oak slab right here. The same thing on this side, a line of purple concrete and bring it to the back of these oak slabs right here. Then we're gonna put two purple concrete here. Then we're gonna take a birch door and we're gonna put one door sideways right here and then turn this way and one right here. Then we're gonna go back to smooth quartz block and come up to the front behind this door and we're gonna do two layers of smooth quartz coming back to the back of this purple concrete. Then we'll put two here and three across this top middle. Copy it on this side, so start right here and come too high with smooth quartz block. And we'll bring it all the way forward till it beats up at the front here. Right up to here. Then we're gonna come on top behind these walls. We're gonna put two smooth quartz on each side, then another three deep slate tile walls. Then we'll do two smooth quartz again and then we're gonna go to iron bars here and we're gonna do a line of iron bars coming back on each side and that's gonna be six blocks long. And then six iron bars on this side as well. Then behind that, we'll do another two smooth quartz blocks on either side. Then behind that, three deep slate tile walls on either side then a smooth quartz here and here, and two rows of three across this top middle back here, like this. Then two on the top middle like that. Then we're gonna put an outward facing smooth quartz there on top of all these smooth quartz block sections. Then here we start right here with it and we're gonna bring it all the way forward till it's on this purple concrete like this. Repeat it here, so start here with smooth quartz stairs. Bring it back to here, then two here, two here, two here, and one here. Then we're gonna come back through where all these gaps are above these vents, and we're gonna fill all those holes with outward facing deep slate tile stairs on all these vents. And of course, we'll do the same thing on this side. So fill all these gaps above all these vents with outward facing 
deep slate tile stairs. Then we'll come inside here. And we're gonna go three wide in the middle with black wool. And we're gonna bring that all the way forward across this roof to the front so that the whole top of our locomotive gets filled in here. And bring it right up to the front here. And then we'll come back here on the top. We're gonna take black stone brick slab right here and make a plus shape for a fan. Then align with the next fan, do a plus shape here, and a second one here. Then come to the next fan, and one plus shape here. Then we're gonna knock out the center of all four of these fans and put in a bedrock block. And then we'll put a dead horn of coral fan in all four of them. Then in front of this one in the center, we're gonna put our horn, so a sideways dark oak fence gate, and then open one in front of it. Then on this fan, a three by three square of black stone brick block, knock out the center and put in a cauldron for the exhaust. In front of this, two rows of three dark oak trap doors in the middle. Then on this front middle, we're gonna put a lever here going backwards, and then two right here going backwards. Then we're gonna put a conduit here and here because there's these little strobe lights on this. Then we're gonna come to the back with black carpet and we'll cover this back section in black carpet here so the whole roof is black. Now take an oak fence and we're gonna put two on this side of the door, two on this side. Then come up front and do a column of four here. Then here we're gonna come up three and over one and then a two by two right here. Copy it on this side, so up four right here. Here, up three. Then over one. Then a two by two right here. Then we'll put a chain across this gap on top here. Right there. Then we'll come to this door. Put two on either side of this door. Then we'll come to the back. We'll put four coming up right here. Here, we'll come up three over one and a two by two right here then we'll copy it same thing on this side so up four here then here up three over one and a two by two right here then a chain across this gap right here then down here we're gonna put a glow item frame here and here with frog lights in them Then right here in the middle, we're gonna put a birch sign with our number, which will be 870. And hit that with a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna run a ladder up this left-hand side right here. Then we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light right here. Then we're gonna put a black carpet under this chain in the middle right here. Then on each of these top corners, we're gonna put a mangrove button here and here. Then we'll come detail the front, so come up here. And we're gonna take a black carpet under the chain right here. Then we're gonna put a dark oak sign here with our number 870. And one over on this side right here, eight with 870. Then we'll hit both of those signs with white dye and a glow ink sack each. Then come down here and put a glow item frame here and here with frog lights. Then we'll put one right here with a frog light and then one on this top middle with a red stone block. Then we'll swing around on the side of the cab and put a dark oak sign on this block and behind it two birch buttons. Same thing over here, so put a two birch buttons and a dark oak sign here. Then we need to make some banners, so we're gonna come into a loom with a purple banner and white dye. We're gonna put a vertical in the middle, then go to purple dye, put a purple border on it, then make the bottom half purple, then go to white dye and put a horizontal on bottom. Then we'll do another purple one with just a white horizontal on bottom, then do a white banner with purple dye, and do a horizontal on top, bottom half purple. Then we'll come place these. We're going to put this one here and here, and this one with the vertical line we'll have to crouch and put it on this chain in the middle like that. 
Then we'll swing around on the side with this one that has one white stripe. And we're gonna start right here and put a line of five coming right across this door like this. Then we'll do down here behind it and we're gonna do a full line of them coming all the way back on this level. Then we'll put one here, one here. Then right here we're gonna crouch and put one on this side door. And then we'll start right here on this level and bring it all the way across up to this door. Then up in this corner we're gonna put five of them right here. Now take out a regular item frame and come up here and we're gonna put a line of three right here so one's under that back iron bar. Do the same thing on this side, three item frames right here. Then we're gonna come back into our loom with a white banner and purple dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the left and the right, then a horizontal on the middle, the top, and the bottom. New banner. We're gonna do a diagonal, horizontal on top. New banner, a vertical on the left and right, then a horizontal on the top and the bottom. Then go to white dye and surround all three of these with a white border. And this is for the number. So we're gonna come up on these three item frames and use the banners to put 870. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Use the banners right here to put 870. Now we'll do the interior, so come inside here. And we're gonna come up in this front corner and put an end portal here. Then three polished andesite here, three on this side. Then behind this on each side, we're gonna do a line of five polished andesite blocks coming back and two blocks tall. And same thing here, a five by two on this side. Then we'll put two polished andesite stairs like this for a staircase, three blocks here. Come down in here, turn around and put a door here. Then we'll come behind this, put a polished andesite on the bottom of each side, then two stairs coming up like that. Right here, we're gonna put a door on each side, and then two blast furnaces in the middle. Then a stair here and here for seats. Turn around in an upside down polished andesite stair here and here. Put an item frame with a compass in the middle here, and a lever here. And now the cab's done, and we'll do the engine compartment. So come behind this, in between these stairs, we're gonna do a two by two of wax cut copper. Then above it, a two by two of brewing stands. Then up here, three wide with wax cut copper, then one on the back middle. Under this back middle block, a column of three deep slate brick walls coming down. Then behind this in the center, a line of 10 sideways anvils coming back. Then above the anvils, we'll put a row of netherite blocks. Then we'll come through on the side of it and we'll put a single dark oak button on each of the netherite blocks. And same thing on this side, put a button on each of all of these netherite blocks here. Then above this, a full line of sideways anvils. And then on top of this, a full line of deep slate brick walls. Then behind this, we'll do a floor to ceiling column of walls. Then on bottom behind this, two sideways end rods. Behind that, two rows of three smooth stone. Then a two by two of smooth stone up here. And two brewing stands here. Behind this, we're gonna do two anvils. Then two netherite. Then two anvils. And on the very top, we're gonna add two more brewing stands up on that top middle. And now our interior is all completed here. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our Metrolink at 59 PH locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.